You know what really gets me upset? When you're with somebody for four years, you guys are massively in love. There's nothing that can break you apart. You make some bad decisions, which ruins it. Then that brings you to the point of loneliness, right? And then you wonder, what have I done? What can I do? Are there different things that I can do to make it right? Uh, uh, is she seeing anybody else? Um, blah, blah, blah. Bullshit, ladies and gentlemen. You need to drop all that. If you got that going on in your mind, if something that you've done or another person has done to you to make you feel the way you do right now, drop it and pick yourself up one of these. Walk to your car, or in my case right now, a motorbike, and get yourself some Old English. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Old English, 32 ounces, it's not a 40. And why don't you wash that down with some Paps Blue Ribbon? I tell you, alcohol will not really take away the pain, but it will modify it. So let's get this done. Etor86, ladies and gentlemen, nice to uh, be out here with you guys. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful day. That's right. Old English. 32 ounces. There's nothing better than malt liquor. Paps Blue Ribbon over there, that's the uh, Dr. Pepper of beer. So let's get this cracked open. All right. Like I said, you know, things just come at you in different patterns. I woke up today in a bad mood. It started last night. I got off the phone with my ex-girlfriend. She was at the bar with some guy and started belittling me. She didn't hang up the phone right, you know what I mean? And I heard everything, and it was bullshit. But then you kind of think, hey, you got old English. Let's fucking drink. <sighs> yes, <clears throat> old English does cure different things to a certain degree. Doesn't cure loneliness. That is not true. <sighs> and it's not all her fault. It really isn't. If you have a girlfriend or an ex-girlfriend, and, uh, you know, it was my fault. But over time, you wonder why you did the things that you did. Or you uh, try to correct the things that you did. You go over there and call her and, I don't know, just maybe, just try to rekindle the old feelings. But fuck it, just drink. That's what I do. Uh, cheers. <sighs> it's always got to be somebody riding a bike or something <clears throat> while you're trying to make a video. What's up, man? Cheers. How you doing? Drinking. Let's be <laughs> That's right. It is the dawn of a new year, ladies and gentlemen. 2015 is going to be my year. You watch. You watch and see. A little piece of shit scooter over there. I'm still going to have it, but I'm going to get a car. Uh, 28 years old. I've had two cars. Uh, Just never become a pizza delivery driver. Or that'll ruin your car. Cheers. Uh, Shit souls got married. Like him and his wife right now. I remember watching their videos in the past and they look happy as can be. But behind closed doors and behind the camera, you never really know how happy somebody really is. Just drowned it in your sorrows. Cheers.
cars coming. Yep. Old people. That's all this fucking neighborhood is filled with. Old ass people. Come out here and be like, where's all the young bitches at? You know what I'm saying? Malt liquor. Got that Pabst Blue Ribbon too. Now, alcohol, like I said, does not uh, cure all your problems. But it does settle you. Makes you think more. Just a little bit ago, I was in a riot. I was crazy, like mad and like, ugh. Zoom all the way down to the store, pick myself up some delicious goodness. Now here I am talking to you fine, wonderful people out there. A couple days before 2015. Ugh. Drinking a malt liquor. Be like Huffy72 and just travel everywhere. Fuck bitches. He's probably fucking like seven of them right now. Label out. We are at the swill. We are at the motherfucking swill. Swill, to my 83 subscribers, thanks guys. Swill, to getting over the love of your life. And finally, swill, to these nuts. That was good. That was actually so good that I'm thinking about having a Paps. Should I or shouldn't I? That is the question, ladies and gentlemen. You also get to that point in time in your life where you have one malt liquor. It's not a 40 ounce, it's a 32. You feel ripped as shit like I do right now because I just slammed that motherfucker. And then you get a Paps Blue Ribbon, which is the Dr. Pepper of beer. Look at this. Sweating like a bitch. I would understand because I'm in Florida. It's like one of the hottest states in the United States. One of the most humidest states in the United States. Anyways, we're just going to go ahead and do it anyway. Let's get the crack. Come on. There we go. Little Dorfy Dorf falling because he's a quitter. Poor Dorf. Old guy, too. For some reason, I thought Dorf was like this younger dude. Well, I don't know. I talked shit about Dorf before I even knew him because I don't know. And then I actually watched his videos and I just realized how much of a pansy he really was. Uh, Mr. Some Drunk. Should I say Mr. Cum Drunk? Fuck you. You are a cunt. Ah. Uh. Gumby Man 02. You're changing your name. Uh. That's cool. I never really understood the Gumby Man anyway. Like, I used to watch Gumby as a kid, and then I seen the man after that, and then I seen you were a chick, <laughs> but whatever. She's cute anyway. Check out Gumby Man 02. She's a really good girl, a really down-to-earth chick. I wish she was living right next door here. I'd buy her a couple malt liquors, and we'd just chill out here and post up and smoke and drink and all that good stuff. Oh... Uh. I'm getting ripped right now. Uh, I need to invest in a tripod. I'm also getting lazy with it. What are we at? Nine minutes and 43 seconds. I already killed the old English. I'm about to kill this paps for y'all. Then I'm about to smoke a cigarette. I'm off today. Look at this. You see the beginning of the video? Now I'm getting a little sloppy. <clears throat> so, here's to being sloppy in your videos. Ugh. I 
actually set this up to where I can hold it and be fine. There we go. Shout out to all my subscribers. I see a lot of people, like I, I, the weasel, I believe, just subscribe to me. Cheers, dude. Uh, I'm going to do this until there's no more YTDC, until there's, I mean, Popsicle Man. He ain't making no more videos anymore. I loved watching Popsicle Man. What up, though? You know what I'm saying? Make another video, bro. Come on. Cam up. Or shut the fuck up. Not you personally, Popsicle Man. But I hear a say that. And they don't have any cameras. Cam up before you talk shit. Then we'll talk. I am almost done. I feel great right now. I'm gonna go inside, watch some TV, and munch out and pass the fuck out. Oh, fuck you, dog. I'm six foot five. You're like. <laughs> Look at this little dog. I don't know if you can see it. Anyways, cheers, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm talking about. So, I'd like to let everybody know that if you're going through some hard times and you're dealing with somebody that you love or that you were in love with and it just ain't working for you anymore, drink Old English, drink Cole 45, drink King Cobra, Drink Mickey's, have a Mad Dog 2020, do whatever it is that you do to get yourself through these problems. And if all else fails, turn to God. Holla at your boy, 941 for life. Happy New Year, and I'll see you soon.